Hey guys, this is Ian from Samuel Apps, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at Core ML. So, what is Core ML? Core ML stands for Core Machine Learning, and it's a new feature in Swift 4 that can run on iOS 11 and above. Basically, it allows you to use machine learning in your apps. Now, this machine learning is locally contained, so you don't need an internet connection to actually use it, which is great, or call any other site at all. So what can this machine learning do? Well, in this tutorial, we're going to look at recognizing objects in photos, trying to guess what's in a photo. So if you have a photo of a wheat field, we'll see if it can guess if that photo contains a wheat field. And we also have a photo with some food to see what it actually guesses that photo contains. Along with this, this machine learning could do some other cool things which down the track should be added to core ML or support should be there, such as recognizing handwriting, converting speech to text, text to speech, reading a, say, a text message and determining if that person is happy, sad, angry, and so on. So I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a big growth area and potentially down the track in new iPhones, it might be a dedicated chip dedicated to run running these machine learning functions because they are quite processor intensive, but you essentially create these models offline whereby you train a computer in recognizing images. Once you're happy with training that model, you can add it to your iPhone or use a pre-existing open source model or any other model out there. And then that's used, for example, to recognize images and so on. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I've went ahead and created this starter app here, which you can download in the source code below. And essentially the functionality of it is it has this image up the top, it has the thinking label, which will be replaced by what the core ML model actually thinks the image is. And then finally, you can take a photo or pick an image. So if we go pick image here, it's taking its time, but now to come up, we'll go camera roll. We'll choose this waterfall. And then it replaces the image up the top and the thinking will start again to determine what it thinks the content of the image are. So let's get into coding it. So once you've downloaded the demo project, the first thing you need to do is to go to this URL here. And essentially it shows you how to obtain a core ML model in your app. So we're gonna to go to these open source models here. The link is in the description below. Okay, so we're gonna to go to this link here and essentially what these are are models that have already been trained by machine learning on a bunch of images to determine what the contents of the image are. So if we scroll down here, you can see there's a few open source models. We're going to download the places 205-GoogleNet just because it's 25 megs and it's a lot smaller than the other open source models. So once you've downloaded that, Simply find it and you just need to drag it into your app. So drag Google Net Places into our app and we'll go copy items if needed and add to targets core ML image detection, which is our project. Okay, so just a quick note before I start coding it, this only works in iOS 11 and using Swift 4, it's a new library in a new version of Swift in iOS. So first of all, under import UI kit, we simply need to do import core ML and import vision to access the core ML libraries. And just on the left here, select this Google net places ML model underscore model class. This might be loading or generating for you. So once that's done, you'll see it updated as you can see here. And if you click on this arrow, you can see all the methods of that core ML model class. Let's go back to our view controller and we're going to code up a new function called function detect image content, which is going to detect the content of the image in our app. So first of all, do label results dot text equals thinking. Then 
then we're going to do guard let model equals try question mark vn core ml model and in brackets we'll do for google net places dot model and that's the file we just added that needs to be in curly brackets so google net places dot model finally do else and if that fails do fatal error and in that fatal error we'll do failed to load model now in here we need to create a vision request so to do that we'll do let request equals vn core ml request brackets here model is the model we created then we do curly brackets square brackets weak self request comma error then in and after the in we want to do a new line and in here we'll do guard let results equals request dot results as question mark square brackets v and classification observation square brackets comma let top result we we'll just want to get the top result which is the result that the core ml model thinks the image content is is the most confident so it might be a horse it might be a car it might think it's in house etc in the actual image in our app so this is going to be results dot first first then we we'll do else brackets and in here we'll do fatal error unexpected results just in case no results are returned or it returns something strange to our app and I'll just bring this else statement back in line and also this fatal error after this, we need to update the main UI thread with our result. And to do that, we simply do dispatch queue dot main dot async. And if you're not too sure what this is doing, be sure to check out our Grand Central Dispatch tutorial. And after the main dot async, we're going to do weak self in the square brackets, then in. And in the code here, we're going to do self question mark dot label result dot text equals quotation marks backslash bracket top result dot identifier with backslash brackets int brackets top result dot confidence times 100 then we'll do bracket bracket percent and do confidence at the end we'll just give the coding editor a bit more room here and just need to include a bracket after the top result dot identifier And finally, under that, we close off our request curly brackets. As you can see here, this one closes off the top one that's being highlighted in yellow. And what that dispatch queue doing is here is updating our label with what our model thinks the contents of the image are. And finally, to run this request, first of all, we need to add guard. Let, let ci image equals ci image brackets and we are going to use image colon self dot my photo dot image with an exclamation mark at the end of image 
and then else on the next line fatal error can't oops just to here can't create ci image from ui image close off that else and i'll just take it back to be on the same line so with the image we need to convert it to a ci image to be used to determine what the image contents are from call ml okay so now we're going to run the google net places classifier on a global dispatch queue so to do that we simply add let handler equals vn image request handler in brackets we do ci image colon ci image the one we just created then we do dispatch q dot global dot async and then in the code we add do try handler dot perform and in this request we're going to add request and after the do do catch print error all right i've just noticed with this code i've actually coded it in view did load instead of detect image content so just copy this guard model all the way down to the handler cut that and paste it into the detect image content Next up, we're going to call detect image content in view did load and also add it down here to this image picker controller. At the very end, add detect image content. This gets called whenever we take a photo with our phone or select a new image from the gallery. So let's run the app now and then I'll go over this code one more time to explain how it's actually working and determining what the contents of an image are. So we can see here, it thinks this image is a bakery or shop with 36% confidence. If we go pick image, we'll select one from the gallery. We'll select this one here, go choose. It thinks it's a wheat field with 51% confidence. So this content here is going to be different for every different model you download. So if I go back to this website, you can see here, the one we're using, the Google Net, detects a scene of an image from 205 categories. Other ones here, which are larger, have a thousand categories and more detail. So if you want more detail, you can download a bigger open source model library. It will be larger, but it will give you more options. So going back to Xcode, what this detect image content does is it first of all creates a request to our VN core ML model. It will then get the results from the classification of the model. So essentially it gives our image in our app here to that model. That model, based on how it's been trained, will then return results of what it actually thinks the image is. So these results will store many different values of what it thinks the image is along with a confidence value. We only want to get the first result in this tutorial. Then in the dispatch queue.main.async here, we update our label. And it's just got a bracket at the end. I'll get rid of that with what it determined the image content to be. Now this request isn't called until we create a handler which is a VN image request handler. And it takes the input parameter CI image, which is different to a UI image. Essentially, that's doing all the hard work of taking a UI image and allowing it to be used by like a machine learning model. So we don't have to worry about that. We then call the global queue and an asynchronous request. So that way, in the background, it will determine what the image is without our app freezing or blocking the main UI queue. 
So it will try to perform that request. If it fails, it will print out the error. So that's how it works. If you want to run it on your phone and actually take photos, you will need the iOS 11 beta, which is currently out or iOS 11 when it's released. So you can see a link in the description to get that below. You can also download the source code for this app below.